Hey guys, Randall Tharp here at ICAST 2022. I'm in the ARC booth, and this is what we've been working on for three years. Uh, I'm super proud of it. It's been a lot of trial and error with new materials, different designs, and I'm really happy with this product that we finally came up, and that's the Gravity Series of Reel from ARC Fishing. Uh, we've got three different models, a G3, which is in our entry level reel. It'll retail for $129.99. We go to the, the mid-priced mid reel, which is uh, the G5, it's $179.99. And then we have the Cadillac right here for you serious diehard tournament fishermen that want the very best, the latest in technology and materials that we could build a reel out of. That's this one, the G7 which this one will retail for $239.99, which is still a relatively inexpensive reel when I, find, when I show you what's inside this thing and what makes it unique. But, uh, you know, all three of these models come in four different gear ratios. So we've got a 5.4 to 1, which would suffice for your deep cranking needs or your, your big bait needs, all the way up to a super high-speed reel, like your 8 point, I think it's an 8.2 to 1. So you can see here, one feature we have is we wrote the gear ratio right on the front of the reel because I don't want any question when I pick one up what it is. So you can see we got a 5.4 right there, 5.4, 7.1, and an 8.1. So those are your gear ratios. That should cover anything you need from throwing a buzz bait or something super fast to fishing something big really slow. All right, guys, I won't go through the features on all, all, all three of these, but uh, we'll just start with this G7. As you can see, the handle, we got carbon fiber. The car, the, you'll notice on the, on the G5 here, it's, a, it's aluminum frame. So we saved a little bit of weight. That's a little bit different. Some of the difference in the prices with this carbon fiber handle. Another thing we did on this G7 is we have a short shaft spool. So what does that mean? So the shaft that holds this spool on here, it, it doesn't come all the way into the line ten, tension adjustment. It actually completely releases from the spool, which does two things. It saves on weight, but it also 100% frees this spool up so you can cast further. So the G7's got a short shaft spool compared to the G5, which has a long shaft spool, which is something you would see more typically on a bait caster that, that companies have built in the past. Um, the biggest thing I feel like that separates the G5 and the G7 from any reel that has ever been built before is the braking system. And it's something unique to us. It's, it's a design that we patented and something I'm really proud of because it, to simplify it for you, most reels in the past has, have had a braking curve this big. So if it was totally free, it would be here, and at maximum braking, it would be here. With the new Gravity Series reel, our braking curve is over here, super free, and maximum braking is absolutely, so instead of a braking curve this big, ours with the Gravity Series is this big. And I'm gonna take this thing apart and I'm gonna show you why and how we achieve that. So if you can see on the side of the reel, you've probably seen, it's just, it's a basically, we've got one through 20 on here. You turn this knob and what that does is there's a plate with magnets and it moves in and out. That's nothing new. That's something that's been done before. So it's got a little lever. You click the lever up and then pull the side plate straight off. Okay. So if you can see, there's your ball bearings in here. That's what your shaft spins on. But if you'll notice, these magnets aren't facing out, they're facing in. The reason is, is on this spool, the magnets aren't working against the spool, they're working against this piece of metal here. And this is what's unique. So if you notice, we've got one through 20 adjustment on here. And if you look on this, little red metal disc here, we've got one, two, and three. So what that does is it gives me three more levels of adjustment. So I can turn this, we're on three now, which is all the way out. I can, I can push this in 
I can turn at half a turn and now we're on two. Two is a little further in. We can turn it again and now we're on one. That's all the way in. So what you got is on one, you've got way less, uh, the magnets are working less on one than if you were to turn it right back to three, which we're back to three, that's it. The, those magnets are working as hard as they can work. They're making the most surface contact there. So that's how we achieved that wide braking curve. And that's why this reel casts so far is because it's, it, it's freed up so much more than any reel's ever been freed up before on the tension adjustment. The short shaft spool, so this, this shaft here is not running all the way here. That reduces friction. And it's, it's just an incredible reel. Three years in the making, and I've been using this all year. I can cast to the knot if I want to. And that's, I mean, I don't know if it's 100 yards with say 20 pound line, but it's a long ways. And, you know, I can you, give you an example. I skipped marina docks with a chatterbait at Watts Bar this year. And with half the effort, I could skip way further and I fished four days of, in, in a major league fishing event and never backlashed a single time, which is, not only I, I feel like I'm a better than average caster, but that's unheard of. And it's all due to this brand new gravity reel. So, uh, short shaft spool, super lightweight, three position internal braking system. You put all that together and it's a state of the art, super lightweight, the best performing reel that I've ever used. This is the G7. Like I said, we've got the G3 and the G5. Three brand new models, four different gear ratios, cutting edge technology. Just put one in your hand and spool it up. You won't be disappointed. So we covered a lot of the unique features of the G7 and now I want to show you one really cool thing that comes standard on the G5 and the G3. If you look, look right here, you got your gear ratio, but if you look right here, We've got a, a line size indicator because I don't know if you're like me, I always have to put a piece of blue tape or something and write that on my reel and I absolutely hate doing that. So all I do with this is pop this side plate off with this lever and you can dial it for any size from six to 65 pound braid with this line indicator right here. And it saves me a lot of time and effort of using a uh, non-stick tape and a Sharpie like I've been doing for the last 20 years of my career. So that's a cool feature on the G5 and G3.